residents. This is Mayor Tiffany Henyard, the People's Mayor, just coming to you to let you know about what you're responsible for and what we as the village is responsible for. This is what you, the resident, is responsible for. These two trees, because it's in your yard. This is your property line here. But when you come to the left over here, this is what we, the village, is responsible for. This is what we responsible for. This is what the homeowner is responsible for. So that is the difference of when you make a call or a complaint to public works, they are not responsible for cutting anything on your property. They're responsible for cutting any only the item that's on the parkway. That's the only thing they're responsible for cutting. So now that you know this, hopefully this video can educate you on what you're responsible for and what we are responsible for. Thank you again for tuning in. Mayor Tiffany, love for the people. Oh, really? Well, this additional evidence might educate you about the scam this administration could be running. So when you go through this, the total amount spent on tree cutting, $573,000 for one month of services. Not one of these seven companies has a contract with the village. This is a no bid fraud scam started by Tiffany Hank. What's up, everybody? This is Carlton Flowers with the Go Political channel. And have we got a good follow-up for you tonight. So in this video, we're going to talk about that monumental presentation that you probably watched in the last couple of days covering the Dalton tree trimming scam. We're going to discuss that video just a little bit and then I'm going to give a few thank yous out. There's three people that I've got to give them their flowers. Not me because I am Carlton Flowers, <laughs> but I'm going to give them their flowers, give them their thanks because big thanks are due to them. Then we are going to have a look at even more evidence that was dug up by Hannibal is hungry. And we're gonna watch his video and react to it live. And then at the end, we're gonna bring up that $561,000 check because there's something that I wanna tell you and I can't even say it all just yet, but I'm gonna give you a hint to it. That's what we will end with. And then I'll give you a preview of what's to come. Okay, so first, that video that I did, that last video, let me just pull it up so I can look at some of the stats here. Uh, I don't know what to say. I am absolutely overwhelmed um, by the response that this video brought. I actually thought this video was going to be a dud because I thought it was too long, it was too convoluted, and my head, my brain was just scrambled after I got done doing this video. It took me two days to put all of this together. Lots of recording and re-recording and rewording, and I still had some mistakes, and I'll go over the couple of mistakes that I had. But it was just wild. Let's just jump over here and have a look at um, my channel here. When I go to the dashboard, I had about 700 subscribers before this video went up, and now we are at 2,600. And 62. That's just outstanding. I'm so glad to have all the new subs on board for this journey that we are going to take. So here's the video Tiffany Henyard's Dalton Tree Trimming Scam Exposed. And looking at these uh, statistics here, the numbers, this is ridiculous 149,800 views and counting. Well, actually, uh, it's probably going to cross over the 150,000 mark as it just ticked up to 898. And as you can see, the views are 20 times higher than my average. So this just went bananas. I picked up a lot more than what it's showing here. It says 1,400 new subs. I think that's closer to 1,600. And uh, one other thing that I would like to show you here, uh, look at the comments. There's 1,168 comments, 4,563 likes. 
I usually like to answer every single comment and there's probably going to be no way in the world that I'll be able to get to all these comments, but I just want to let you know if I don't answer, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm overwhelmed right now because I did not expect this to happen. I did not see this coming. So that was just uh, fantastic. Now let's jump back here to the desktop. Um, a couple of uh, three people that I want to give some big thanks to. Number one, uh, Shay with the Late Night Crew. Shout out to Shay. Um, last night, he was going to have a guest on, and that guest was not able to appear. And so he decided to do a reaction uh, video to my video on his live stream. And I was there in the chat. I was lucky that I was able to be there because I had to cancel on something at my shop. I wasn't even supposed to be home. But everything happens for a reason. And I can tell you a lot of what I'm doing, I have been motivated by the amazing work that Shay does in uncovering information with what's going on in Dalton. And I tell you what, if you know about the late night uh, crew and you watch that, uh, that channel like I do, you are probably like me where you get a big dopamine hit every time he does the... Uh, What's the line? Tactical nuke incoming. When I hear that, I just go bananas. And I know there's a lot of you out there who follow Shay's channel. You probably get as excited as I do. And I always look forward to listening to Shay's live while I'm working late at night in my body shop because it just gives me the energy to keep working. So anyway, I've been very motivated by Shay and his hard work. I love the channel. Go check him out. Next is De La Creme De La. De La Creme De La. I got to say it right. <laughs> but Della is, uh, Della is just beyond brilliant. I can't say enough great things about this great woman who taught me how to dig and research and how to break down those town hall, uh, the town meetings, the board meetings, and really look into what's being said that gives you clues as to what's really going on. There's no way I would have been able to pound through a lot of those meetings had it not been for Della. And I spent many, many nights listening to her live streams as we pound through with the breakdown crew, breaking down every one of those town hall meetings. So that's, I mean, the, the credit goes to them for my ability to dig up and to figure out all of the intricacies about what's going on in the city of Dalton with all of this mess. Third is Hannibal is Hungry. Hannibal has a fantastic channel. And he also showcased my video last night. And I finally got to watch it and threw a bunch of comments on there because he gave me some insight on other things that I want to look into. And he took it a step further. And we're going to take a look at that. But big thank you to Hannibal is Hungry. He is such, such an impressive young man. And uh, he's got a pretty uh, outstanding channel that I think is going to grow tenfold here in the next year or two. So check him out. I'm going to put links to everybody's channel in the description. But thank you, guys. Thank you, Hannibal. Thank you, Della. Thank you, Shay. I appreciate you all. And all the credit is yours. It's not me. I'm just following the excellent example that you provided and using the tools and the skills that you taught me. All right. So let's jump back down to the desktop. And let's look at this new information. It's not really new. It's additional information that Hannibal is hungry dug up from his channel. And by the way, here's the... Started by Tiffany Hank. Here's it's the... It's actually uh, a really, really good video. I want you guys to take a look at real quick. It's from Go it's me. Political. <laughs> this video is doing extremely well. I don't know if you guys have checked it out with some of these great videos breaking down the psychology the way she manipulates and also like this video right here where he was able to break down this dalton tree thank you again for that very kind words very kind words and like he said i do break down the psychology of the insidious mayor tiffany henyard <laughs> so go check out my other videos so you can learn more 
about how these people operate. All right, so let me get to the timestamp. I think it's at 725 is the first one here. So let's jump on forward and listen to what Hannibal has to say and look at this information that he dug up. He probably, I don't know, did you get an FOIA? Did you have to do a FOIA? Um, I tried to get some of this contract information today when I called the city of Dalton and they told me that I had to fill out an FOIA to be able to get it. Most cities will just give you the completed bids list. They don't make you do a FOIA request. So that's just totally ridiculous. But at any rate, Hannibal has the information. So let's check out and see what he dug up. Here we go. Village. So we have some records about the amount of money and the different amount of companies that Hannibal is using for this tree trimming, tree removal thing. So let me check this, let me fix this real quick for you guys, hold on a second. Okay, so you see all these companies and mind you, none of these companies were approved by the board. She has not put any kind of contract bidding up. Everything is no bid contracts. Can you believe that? So there's, thank goodness and thank you Hannibal for doing this because this reinforces the point that I made because when you put information out there, it made me nervous. When I found those little spots in the meetings and started to put the pieces of the puzzle together and I thought, well, this is obvious corruption. And then I make the video, I put it out there and then I'm like, gee whiz, I'm kind of nervous about this. I hope people can back me up and then here you are with this information. I mean, Della has dug it up. Shay has dug it up. Now we have this information that you have dug up. And so this helps to reinforce that point and showcase the fact that there are some dirty dealings going down. This is just one month worth of contracts that Hannibal dug up. So let's keep on and listen to what uh, he describes here. So you see some of these companies right here. Let's bring it down here. So you see what's encircled, the amount of money is being paid. You see the tree services, mm -hmm. tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> you see this one right here, Raul and Sons Landscaping. That's, you can look at right here. Look how much money they're spending. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good grip right there, seriously. Let's keep moving. And then John, John's Pro Tree Service. That's another, another one right there at $155,000. Crazy, absolutely crazy. You see another company right here, KNM Ventures, bunch of tree removal, look tree at all those tree cutting, whatever. Oh man, you know how much that is right there? $157,000. I should be a tree trimmer, <laughs> yeah, they get paid over here. <laughs> no and then doubt. another one, Lopez Lawn Maintenance. There's another 10 racks right there. <sighs> What's going on here? So, when you go through this, the total amount spent on tree cutting. $573,000 for one <sighs> month of services. Not one of these seven companies has a contract with the village. This is a no bid fraud scam started by Tiffany Hanger. Mm, they mm, aren't mm. even approved contract list. They're not even on the approved contract list. None of them are on the approved list. You're supposed to have a list of approved contractors that have been vetted. Okay, that meet the qualifications, minimum qualifications uh, to be able to perform the work. They have to check up on these folks to make sure they're good. All right. And they're legit. There's no such thing there. No such thing. She's just handing out these contracts willy nilly. Can you believe that? Five hundred and seventy three thousand and three dollars in just one single month. That's just absolutely insane. I, I, I cannot believe that. But th this is phenomenal that you're able to see this, to see the breakout, to see the actual amounts and who those contractors are. So excellent job. Hats off to Hannibal for finding can this. Find all those contractors at Village Hall. What the hell? The <laughs> yeah, no doubt. What the hell? That's just absolutely ridiculous. Now let's jump to another spot here. We're going to go over, uh, we're going to fast forward over. Uh, he shows parts of my video. Um, we're going to fast forward to the 11 minute mark where he shows evidence from another board meeting and you'll see some of the same mess that's going on. So here we go. Let's forward to the 11 minute mark and watch this along with Hannibal. Here we go. 
trustee's fault. It, it's very, very clever. And one of the biggest things about Tiffany Hayard is how much she is a complete hypocrite. So this is yes. when she was a trustee. And it's interesting how she spoke back then to compare to how she's speaking now. That was a big, big point. Thank you for digging that up. It is like black and white. A stark difference. When she's a trustee, what you're about to see of this clip that Hannibal dug up, you're going to see her acting as if she is an honest trustee who's holding the mayor's toes to the fire and busting his chops about not going through the proper procedures. So here we go. Let's roll it. I have a board that you have to go before you pay bills. You cannot, and I repeat, cannot pay a bill because you choose to. The entire body have agreed to not pay that one particular vendor, but you took it upon yourself. It was, it, was, it was more than one bill, Trustee Henry. It was more than one. It was several amounts, several invoices. Okay, but we all agree not to pay that one particular vendor. You fought tooth and nail to pay that one particular vendor for whatever reason. So what I'm saying or what I'm asking as a trustee is that you report to your board and let us approve or disapprove because one of the invoices was one that you wanted to it's unbelievable how she is speaking now to what she's been doing since she became mayor but it makes sense the board needs to approve you can't just do whatever you want to do mm -hmm. she said that to mayor rogers at the time but it is funny how things have changed over time mm -hmm. the trees cut down mayor i'm not gonna fight today i'm just telling you the opinion that i have and how it should be that's the structure. That's the order that you ignore every time. The structure and order. You, if you want something paid, put it before your board, which is the board of trustees. Interesting. If you want something to get paid, you got to put it before the board of trustees. The thing that <laughs> Tiffany Hayard is not doing right now. We put it in front of the board. For a total of $60,000. And that was, we that was multiple no. invoices. That was not one invoice. And we said no. Mother in boy, no, 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 in boy. Okay, I'm just going to say this, I'm leaving it alone. Later on, you got an email from Attorney Murphy saying that it was no approval to pay for Carsey and Son. But yet, you still went through and paid. All I'm asking is to stop doing it. <laughs> Go before the body and get your approval. That's it. That's it. Thank you. I guess when you get the power, things change, right? Yeah. So we amen. have another video of him. Trustee Hanier, spin the facts on the behavior of the mayor doing the wrong thing. Mm, Let's mm, check mm. it out. I don't know why we're playing this game. The mayor is the overseer of the village. He signs off on everything. The, 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 the mayor oversees and signs off on the bills, especially at that amount. Nobody else does. So I don't know why Chris saying he don't know. He know it's the mayor. His signature is on everything, so he shouldn't have done that. That's why you have a board that you should go before. You never do. You First oversee all, us, and you go and do what you want, as usual. But she's not using the word oversee properly, but basically That's what she's, she's saying ignorant. is that there is no board. Mm -hmm. According to Mayor Rogers, he does what he wants to do. Mm. He's bypassing the board, not overseeing, but you know, Hanger, that's her way of speaking. But that's what she's trying to say. So this mayor doesn't care about the board. Mm -mm. The mayor wants to do what the mayor wants to do. Mm -hmm. That's what Trustee Hanger is trying to explain. Trustee, why don't you let me do my job? That, you know, when you advocated to have that one lady's tree cut down, you immediately said, Matt, why didn't you cut the tree down? I called you several times to cut this tree down. So when we cut the tree down, now you don't want to pay the vendor to do it. Okay, so that's that's all you got. That one resident that been complaining for two that's years, we, a week, hold on. When I advocated for her tree to be cut down, remember you said I want a tree lady. You got, we approved it, the board approved it. You took two years, two years, Mayor. That's not true. You just that's cut it down true. now. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna pull the tape up. And I'll that's not true, pull the tape. That's true, exactly. it's true. So what I'm saying to you now, you're only doing everything. Every move you're making is only is political. It ain't here about the residents. Because That's if you did, true. you would have did it when we approved it. When we approved well, so why, why you don't do what we, what we said? Why would you when say we approved that? so why y'all don't go do it? It just why? said that the resident complained again. But we approved it though. Why would you say the lady fell down and broke her hip? And I talked to her and she said that was not the case. Mayor. Ooh, wait, wait, wait what now? What? Wow. I told you what it was, which that? was the lady did fall and break her hip. If you would have went there when it happened, then I you would have known. So if you went I, there now, you want to make it a debate now. What they got to do with the tree? I talked to her son. I talked to her son. And what and did I they have to do with the tree? And I what talked to her personally. What did they have to do with the tree? What did they have to do with the tree? 
Charlie keeps talking over him like she doesn't want him to talk more about what happened in that situation. Yep. Very interesting. Mayor, what? You I deflect a lot. You deflect a lot. It got nothing to do with the tree. I talked to her personally, and she said, no, she did not fall down. Two years. Break. Two years to cut a tree. That's All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can you believe that she just said, you deflect a lot? <laughs> oh, mind is blown. All right, let's keep on. Is she lying? Does she talk about something that didn't happen? Hanger doesn't lie. That's not true. Everybody else on the list that don't exist. Am I going to get the tree list, Mayor? Can I have that? Can I please have the tree list? I don't know. So people can know where they at on this tree list that you say they got that they don't got. Let me tell you, in a lot of cases, <laughs> residents want the trees cut down for good reasons. We do not cut down trees for cosmetic reasons. If the tree is healthy and it needs trimming, we'll trim it. But we don't cut trees down just because a resident said, cut my tree down, I don't like it anymore. We don't do that. Interesting now because with this whole tree trimming scam, allegedly, it's about beautification. Not necessarily about necessity. Good point. The way Hainer talks about it. We'll we'll talk about that later on wow. in this video. Mayor, can and, I have that and, list? And the tree. I don't know of any list. Right, but y'all tell the residents that they go on a list when they call in about a complaint. And if they lined up on the list, they not. I, I don't so, think it's that. Oh, God. Okay, I'm done. So there's another big hypocrite from trustee Hainer at the time mm. about... Paying all this money, hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. to these uh, contractors, these outside contractors, and how maybe if you're able to train some people in-house to do some of this work, it'll be beneficial financially for the village. And Hayer does not believe in that now, but trustee Hayer years ago had a different idea. Check it out. So that's why the outside company comes in. And then you don't want to pay them. Mayor, I've always said train in-house staff to do what we need to be done. You constantly want to outsource everything. You can train those guys. That's why they're called public works. <laughs> they should be able to handle half the things we got in the community. What Stop about? outsourcing everything, Mayor. And if that's the case, they go through trustee Steve's oh, committee when they need equipment, need something fixed. So if it's a, a truck that they need to be able to cut the tree down, so we not paying $25 for both trees, I think they should get it. Well, then why don't you approve an $80,000? crane that they use to cut those tall trees down hmm. why don't you do that mayor i have no problem with putting that in the budget you know budget is coming up and we can afford that no problem and in this video again hanyard is being a complete hypocrite we now know that there's some kind of double dipping happening with this tree trimming situation and that's why we think there's a major scam but again this happened in 2018 and hanyard remember trustee hanyard explaining how double dipping doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh boy. Check it out. <clears throat> okay, so if you have any questions or concerns in regard to that, or if you are one of our lung care providers, uh, please hold your questions to the end. But we will, we do prefer you guys to cut down the bushes. But also, if you think about it, if we have you cut them down and you put them up front, we kind of double working because public works still have to come and pick up the bushes. So I prefer to just give the tree trimming or the bushes to a public works and then let the lawn care providers just cut all what the happened lines. to that common that sense way we not double paying for instance we have another issue where people Does, that makes a lot of sense yeah who go cut the grass in the front meaning public works <clears throat> but they don't cut the backyard so then they call the lawn care providers and that's another fee so now we paying out twice and we could just nip it in the bud and just give it strictly to the lawn care provider and let them cut the front and the back for the 25 bucks so just some suggestions you guys just some suggestions that make sense it looks like she doesn't follow her own suggestions that were happening a couple of years ago. Nope. So when Hania is able to do that, she's manipulating the trustee, these trustee meetings and using really good deflection. You know, Go Political has really good videos based on this. And I know a lot of people think that Hanyard is stupid. And I understand that. I mean, some words she can't pronounce. And <laughs> in, when she's writing something, when she puts a post on social media, there's a lot of issues. But there's certain things that she is good at. And she's a really good... I'm glad you said that because I have seen it in the comments. A lot of people trying to tell me that I've mistakenly labeled her as, you know, very smart or, you know, street smart, very, uh, she has a high functioning mind, but it's a criminal mind. She's not stupid. She's not dumb. Um, she doesn't care about her speech and talking, and she sounds like a complete ignoramus, and that's going to be the topic of another video, but her, her mind, she has a sharp mind, but sadly, she excels in her criminal thinking. Okay, let's get to the end of this. Later. That could be a natural thing that she learned through her life experiences, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I doubt she necessarily can even explain why she how she does it. But she's she is effective. Now the problem is she probably thinks she's smarter than everyone else. Mm. That you know that could be a little bit of narcissism. And the problem is with most narcissist people, they're not they're not the smartest in the room, and eventually get, they get caught because they think they can they can finesse anybody. Mm -hmm. And eventually you run out of space. You run out of courtesy currency to keep finessing people eventually they, they realize you're full of shit but you can tell she she's really good at manipulating yeah so she uses and look, this is typical politics but to, to use that that video as a sign of well well jason house don't care about your car because he said no to the, to the tree trimming that's effective mm -mm -mm. how about that all right let's jump back to the desktop in the studio here we go okay so thank you hannibal uh let's pause that um that wow just seeing that stark difference and, and see this is what this is what Della taught me to do to dig through and I can't tell you how many times that Della was able to dig up stuff like that I'm gonna have to go back to some of my favorite uh de la creme de la videos from the breakdown crew and we'll do a reaction and man I tell you what Della has the insight and intuition and ability to pick up on things that most of us don't pick up on. Yeah, I mean, it can just like fly straight over my head and then you hear her break something down and she says, listen to what he just said and watch his mannerism. Then listen to the reaction of uh, this lady over here and you're like, oh my goodness, I never thought about that. So she has just the uncanny ability uh, to see through things and to pick up on those minute details that give you clues as to what is really going on on okay last topic last topic last topic fantastic very shocking topic it's gonna be a very very uh shocking topic a lot of people are gonna tell me that carlton you really blew me away with that last one it was incredible information very incredible the five hundred and sixty one thousand dollar check <sighs> i have an update on this I have an update on this. So I was looking at um, the post, the information that Jedediah Brown had shared where he had a picture and there's a four-door pickup truck behind another vehicle in front of Lon Goodman's check cashing business. And I think if I'm remembering right, I think he was saying that that was a vehicle owned by Tiffany Henyard or someone at the city, one of the two. But I don't know. I've been trying to reach out to him. And if you're watching this, check your Facebook messages, sir. Uh, I'd love to talk to you and pick your brain. Um, I would like to know how did you determine that the vehicle belongs to someone who works for the city of Dalton? I need to know that. And then I spoke in the last video that there was rumors about Lon Goodman being arrested, detained, indicted, something over that check, and I find no evidence of the sort. So I started to look into this because I was very suspicious. And I got confirmation of my suspicion when Della of the De La Creme De La channel told me that her intuition said something to her about that check that I was thinking. So the question that was in my mind about the $561,000 check to K5, which by the way, I forgot the errata. I had a mistake. I was tired when I shot that last video and in two instances, I said five star when I was really referring to K5. So we were talking about five star in the first half of the video. And then we were talking about the $561,000 check to K5 in the second half of the video. And my mind was still back on five star. That was my mistake. I apologize for that and wanted to clear that up. Back to what I was saying, I digress. The question that popped into my mind was if the rumors are true, that Tiffany Henyard, who was the only signator on that check, was able to cash that check at Lon Goodman's place. Did any of that money get back to the contractor? And was the contractor even aware that the check was out there? Was this check cut and written without even 
involving them? Was the name just put on there to make it look legit? Or are they aware? Well, I made a couple phone calls. And I can't tell you just yet the details of the phone calls. But I will tell you this. Something stinks. And it stinks to high heaven. Why? Because somebody is lying. But once I confirm a few of these details, because I don't want to put information out there that isn't true, once I get done with the research, I'll let you know in part three of the tree trimming scam series. All right, preview. <clears throat> the next video I'm working on is centered on the topic of Lori Lightfoot. There's been much discussion in the last videos, in the comments, and on other people's videos where people are either in the camp that they're saying that the $400 an hour and $30,000 contract expenditures on Lori Lightfoot is a complete waste of time because the FBI is already on the case. Or they're in the camp that says Lori Lightfoot is definitely making a difference. I am going to share with you in the next video why I am in the second camp. And it's going to be information from my life experience about work that I do. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to give you the details, but we'll wait and see. And I'll be curious to know your opinion after I present this in such manner that may or may not sway you to one side or the other. So that's coming. Now, <clears throat> a big announcement. I have been approved for live streams. So we are going to start live streaming soon. And I'm going to try to live stream in the beginning once a week and I have a goal to provide a better live stream an entertaining live stream something that everybody will enjoy I have a format in mind and it's going to be fun and enlightening so that's coming and since I have surpassed the 1000 subs mark and thank you all for that my channel is in the process of being monetized which is a great thing because I need and income from this because I'm going to be spending a significant amount of time producing content for the Gold Political channel. Now that I see the overwhelming response and the viewership that we have and the interest in these topics, there is something called opportunity cost. And so what that is, it's the amount of money that you're not making that you would be while spending time on your regular job or profession. So in the beginning, while I'm spending time on these videos, I'm not working in my body shop. I'm not working in my engineering consulting uh, business. I'm not doing my marketing business or the couple of other things that I do that produce income, my contract work, you know, what have you. And so that means that we have an opportunity cost because that's uh, trading hours that come with making money for the hours that I spend here where right now I'm just not making money. And so the goal is that I will be able to get enough income from the channel and I want to earn that. I want to earn your memberships. I want to earn the income so that I can replace that time that I'm going to take away from my other businesses because I want to do this. This is what I want to do and I think I'm called to do it. So I'm excited about that. Now, until they get it going for now, you can click the link in the description to the Ko-Fi website where you can buy me a cup of coffee. So if you want to help me defray some of these hideous expenses of producing these uh, YouTube channels, you may do so by clicking that link. So <clears throat> did I cover everything i tell you what i just can't wait for you guys to see these videos that i have coming up i cannot wait um that is all for now but before we go i would love it if you would like comment and subscribe to the go political channel and if you would like to become a member you can i have three membership levels where you could be a go political supporter 
a Gold Political member, or a Gold Political ambassador. Check it out in the description. That is all I've got for now. This is Carlton, and I am out. Ain't no game, babe, I'm rooted like the trees, yeah Gonna rise above, watch me claim my streets, babe Gonna rise above, watch me claim my streets, babe I'm saying, girl, wreck your ground, let them know you're here to stay, babe Yeah, yeah. I grew here, you flew here Our streets, our struggle can't be the same I got that city heart be playing no games Like you know, I was born to lead this way No, I gotta, no, I gotta